If a child has significant trichomalacia with severe symptoms, then we believe a surgical approach to it is very effective. We have significant experience with uh, tracheopexies, which is the idea of supporting the trachea in one way or another with sutures uh, to stabilize it and prevent it from collapsing. We can do that from several different angles. We can do that from the back, which is called a posterior trachopexy. We can do it from the front, which is called an anterior trachopexy, or a combination of both. Some children need both. So it really depends what the goal of the operation is and what we're trying to fix. Trachomalacia is often associated with esophageal atresia, so it's natural for us to have ventured into this area because of our close relationship with esophageal pathology. Nonetheless, there are several children who do not have esophageal issues who do have trachomalacia. And so it, it's an it's a interesting dynamic there. I think trichomalacia, we have to understand it first and, and then uh, have in mind that it, it is something that can be addressed and treated.